Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings season preview with me Patrick Munderley. Before we jump into today's report as always want to adhere to the risk disclaimer and most pertinent to today's presentation is the fact that the views and opinions expressed by me are solely mine and they're not indicative or representative of those held by tick mill UK or tick mill Europe limited. Okay let's jump into today's report we're looking at meta platforms the uh, form of Facebook and in terms of the release, they are going to release earnings after the close of New York trade today. And we are looking for consensus earnings per share of $1.88 on revenue of $27.87 billion. I would say there is a whisper number on the street suggesting that earnings per share could come in at $1.79. Meta's third quarter top line is expected to have been affected by geopolitical tensions like the Russia-Ukraine war which reduced its monthly active users across its family of apps, uh, namely Facebook and Instagram. Rising inflation is likely to have uh, negatively impacted the ad spending budgets of enterprises, which might have weighed on the ad revenues of Meta in the to be reported quarter. In the second quarter of 2022, Meta's ad revenues represented 99.2% of total revenues and were used to fund the company's Re Reality Labs initiatives which may have taken a severe hit in the quarter. Meta's ads revenue business is facing declining growth due to uh, ad targeting related headwinds created by the Apple iOS changes. Apple's iOS changes have made ads targeting difficult, which has increased the cost of driving outcomes. Measuring these outcomes is tough, and Meta expects these factors to hurt advertising growth in the third quarter of 2022. Meta's advertisement revenues decreased 1.5% year over year to 28.15 billion and accounted for 99.2% of second quarter revenues. The declining revenue trend is expected to have continued in the third quarter of 2022. Meta expects a 6% headwind in foreign exchange, which reflects volatility in the market. As a result, Meta slowed down its investments in Reality Labs projects responsible for creating obviously the metaverse. These projects were costing the company a lot of capital as revenues from its primary source have been decreasing. In the third quarter, Meta announced the launch of new features to drive user growth in its family of apps, Facebook and Instagram. Meta's new features will allow both Facebook and Instagram users to switch between the social media profiles through the same account center and People can view their Facebook and Instagram profiles in one place. To deal with rising security concerns, Meta has also concentrated on deploying its privacy and security factors in addition to its two-factor notification, which will still apply to the new updates. Users will be updated if the new Instagram and Facebook accounts are created using their existing accounts. Meta's legal woes are still cons consistent as the company was slapped with a 405 million euro uh, fine by Ireland's data regulators for violating the European Union's general data protection regulation and failing to protect children's information. Moving to uh, stock patterns around the Meta release. Uh, Meta shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings, seven out of the 12 previous reports. On average, stocks traded down 1.2% on the first day of trading after reporting earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Meta is more likely to trade lower one day after uh, earnings for an average loss of 1.2%. On average, the stock has moved higher though, 2.2% one week after earnings. From a volatility perspective, options markets are pricing in a potential 12.6% move on earnings, but the stock has actually averaged a 7.9% move in the recent quarters. There was uh, some notable buying, 2,889 contracts of the $140 call expiring this Friday. Options order flow sentiment in general though has been bearish. Analyst sentiment going into the company's earnings have 64.5% of coverage bullish on the stock. Meta share price has drifted down 16.2% post its prior earnings announcement. And using the last 12 quarters of the data, the actual average earnings drift is around 0.9%. So pretty negligible there. Let's take a look at the charts here and see if we can identify any near-term trading opportunities in the stock. We can see, obviously, we've got this descending wedge pattern on the weekly time frame in play. 
Currently, we're looking at putting in a weekly outside reversal candle. So in terms of the earnings, if we get positive earnings, I'm looking for a close through 140 to target a move up to 144 and then up to the 148 level. We do have a gap just above there coming in at 149. And I've got this 150.74 level marked on the charts because that would show a correction equal to the corrective move we saw in July. Um, so that's those are some levels to keep an eye on on the upside. If we can clear this 140 hurdle, those are my targets to the upside. However, if this earnings uh, report comes in light and, uh, and the market has a, an adverse response to uh, the report, then I'd be looking for any move back down through 130 to engage on the short side, looking for a break of the prior cycle lows, 122. And then we have a 127 extension to the downside coming in at 118.50. And that also co coincides with the yearly S3 pivot coming in there at uh, 118.59. Then I would be watching there for potential bullish reversal patterns if we can get some momentum divergence developing to look for a counter trend move to the upside to then target the weekly trend line resistance coming in back just below 140 again. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.